Good afternoon, China Lake. Susan again from the fitness department. And uh, if you can see in the distance, you probably can't. I've got Kelly from Aquatics and her family and Cindy, our Liberty Manager, all practicing appropriate distancing. But we're here this afternoon in the Rodermacher Hills out behind Saracosa College. And we're at one of the easiest trailheads to start. Those of you that are familiar are one thing, those of you that aren't, every good trailhead around here has a sign such as the one behind me that identifies various things to look at and enjoy. We're just gonna do one in a short series of going out with your dog and enjoying the desert. Coming up on our walking group, but are keeping good distance. And most of you, I think, know Kelly. Hi everyone, department. I'm Kelly. I'm out here with Cindy and Chief, Moreland and Wilson. A couple things to remember while you're out here. One, stay on trail. There are a lot of flora and fauna out along the sides that you do not want your puppies to get into. Some of the fauna would be snakes. They don't necessarily rattle before you come upon them. Another thing uh, is what we call out here is jumping choya. So those things, they're a cactus and they will stick in really well. If you have tweezers with you, you could try to get them out. If not, that is a veterinarian visit. Another thing that we have out here sometimes are sheep. I don't know if you can actually see this, but out in the distance there is a truck and a car. And if you can see little white rocks, it's a bunch of sheep that are out here. The sheep herders do bring them around in the desert. Some other things you have to remember with your dogs, as much as you might be tempted, never please let your dogs off leash. My own dogs, they love running off leash, but here it's not safe for them, for other hikers, for other animals. They could go and get their nose into something that is going to be permanently embedded in them and require that vet visit. They could come across a snake. It's spring, there are a lot of snakes out. They could fall down something I'm going to show you shortly. There's lots of trip hazards here and fall hazards. And the other thing is they could run up on somebody totally innocently and scare them. Bicyclists come around the corners all the time. So please, always on the leash. Okay, everybody, so this is something you're gonna see a lot of this spring. It looks really beautiful, especially with that purple flower. But this is actually a bull thorn. And this is what turns into those goat heads that we hate later in the season. Right now it's green and it's beautiful, but look at those spikes. Soft to the touch. Once that dries up though, you're gonna need those tweezers to get that out of your dog's paw maybe, or get your own hand. Uh, even in the state that it's in right now, it's green and soft, it can still cause a problem. Do not let your animals stick their nose in this. Right next to it, the desert stingy nettle. I'm not gonna give you a fancy long name, it's just stingy nettle. Can actually really, really hurt bare skin, uh, the underbelly of your dog or your own hand. It's, uh, if you're able to look really closely, covered in really tiny hair-like spikes but does leave a burning sting on skin so don't take a chance hey everyone after you are done with your walk water bowl for the dog just like you also need water make sure you always are drinking and then feed your dog And these little water bowls, you'll notice they're blue. They are fabric, so they fold. They do have a liner, and they're from our MWR Fitness dog collection for this spring. But seriously, if you would like one, it's very handy to fold up into your pocket. And we're going to have a box of them just outside our fitness studio door in Building 19, across from the NEX. If anybody who wants one would take one for their family, we should have enough for all interested parties. Very handy to have on a hike. All right, so we are going to do a series on this, but one thing I want to mention in this particular first section to add to everything else, please remember Ridgecrest is a great place to explore. We have responsibility to not leave anything behind. So be safe, don't leave any litter out, but two important points for you and your dog. One, please don't go on any hikes or out in nature anywhere where you have two earbuds going on. You need to hear anything that might be happening and that could be a rattler warning you off or could be a bicyclist coming up behind you and shouting. Could be somebody shouting about their own dog. So please make sure at least one ear is free. The other thing for your lovely dogs, please remember, uh, as wonderful as Ridgecrest is, there are no overnight or weekend vets, emergency vets. So consider their first aid as important as yours. Have the name and number of a vet in your phone, but 
take all precautions that you're not going to need one. Thank you.